Hey guys, welcome back to I Think I My name is Ingrid. With all this extra time that we have from quarantine, I feel like it's the perfect opportunity to try new recipes. So I'm going to challenge myself today and try to follow a tutorial, but I'm going to veganize this recipe. That's right, I am going to try to attempt the souffle vegan pancakes. There are no tutorials out there. And it does make sense because the Japanese make them so fluffy. They look so pretty. They have overswamped my Pinterest and also my YouTube feed. They look beautiful. I've been watching a few of these videos and I can't wait to give it a try. I tried this recipe last week. Let me tell you, it didn't go well. But I feel like after watching this other video from the Minimalist Baker, I think I got the secret ingredient I needed to make this recipe possible. So regardless, I think we're going to end up with an amazing fluffy pancake recipe. It might not be as thick as you've seen it with the Japanese technique, but I'm excited to give it a try and hopefully I can get it right. To make the pancake mix, you will need 2 tablespoons of apple sauce, 1 tablespoon of plant-based milk, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, 6 tablespoons of flour. In my case, I'm going to be using this pancake and waffle mix. Make sure that you sift your flour so it's easier to mix it with all of the wet ingredients. Same applies for the half a teaspoon of baking powder you will need to add into this mix. So your mix is going to end up looking more like cookie dough that is perfect. I'm only trying to make three souffle pancakes. Right now I'm going to go ahead and do the hardest step. Alright, if you have never attempted to make frosting with vegan ingredients, you are in for such a treat. It is actually very difficult to make. I was following the recipe from the Minimalist Baker, yet I didn't get it right the first time. And it's because my coconut milk, because you can see here, this one is hard, but the one that I had first was really liquid. So if it's liquid, you won't be able to create your frosting. If it's hard like this, you also will not be able to get it out of the can. So what I would recommend you is that 30 minutes before you make the frosting, open your can and check whether that is liquid or not. If it's liquid, I will put it for 30 minutes in the freezer and you should be good. This one, I left it in the freezer for four hours. I forgot, so I'm not able to use it. Thank goodness I have another can. So let me check on that one to see how it's looking. Alright, so this is the only one that I have. I think I'm going to have a better luck trying to use it, yet I'm still going to leave it in the freezer for 10 more minutes and then I will start to do my frosting. 10 minutes later and this is how my coconut milk is looking. Honestly, it needs to be more solid, yet I want to give it a try. And as you can see, it's way too liquid that you will not be able to make frosting. However, I was pretty lucky that the other can that I left in the freezer for four hours got really solid and I was actually able to get it out of the can. And as you can see, I'm getting a better consistency. To finish this frosting, you will need to add six tablespoons of powdered sugar. The next step is to mix the frosting with the pancake mix. As you can see in this mini clip, the consistency that I have looks very different to the one that I need to make souffle pancakes. This is because I'm using allergen-free ingredients. This happens all the time when you're trying to veganize a recipe. You might not get the right consistency, yet you can probably get the flavor or a really nice experiment. So let's hope that 
if I don't get the souffle pancakes, because it's looking like it won't happen, but I don't want to give up quite yet. But if I don't get it, I have a feeling that it's still going to be a good pancake recipe. The trick for the souffle pancakes is to cover your pancake and also keep adding mix. However, I feel like this one is not going quite well, so let me start from scratch and try again. For my second attempt, I'm actually going to use this egg mold. I bought it three weeks before discovering I was allergic to eggs, so I never used it. The one thing I noticed from the previous fail attempt is that the pan that I was using didn't quite cover the whole pancake, so I'm gonna change it and see whether this is going to make it better. For the next few seconds, I proceed on adding more of the mix, covering the pancake, adding more mix, covering the pancake over and over. I did it six times and I also kept shaping the pancake so it wouldn't look very messy. guys these are actually not the results i was looking for this one actually came better you can see that it's very thick yet yeah, this other one you can see that it's fluffy as well as this one so let's go ahead and decorate these pancakes all right guys did i get souffle pancakes no i did not did i get fluffy pancakes actually I did. However, I can't wait to try these and see whether they taste good or not. All right, this is the moment of truth. Let's try first the thinner ones. So this is a stack of two. Wow! I am definitely doing this recipe again. Wow, this is good. I was just trying to be a little creative. But wow! And this is the attempt at my souffle pancake. Let's try it. Mmm! Oh my gosh! Wow! Okay, this one's a lot better. I feel like it took me forever to get that one attempt at souffle pancake but wow it's like softer probably because it's thicker but wow okay oh my god this is so good see this is what happens in life even though you don't get exactly what you want the end result might be even better than what you expected because wow these are delicious and Oh my gosh, guys, I need to like cut these videos so I can finish these pancakes. They are so good. I can't believe these are vegan and these are gluten free, these are soy free. These are not free except for the coconut. But this is such a delicious alternative to pancakes. If you want to give it a try, make sure that you tag me on all of your posts because I can't wait for you to try this recipe. And thank you so much for these two ladies you're seeing the videos that inspire me to use part of their recipe to create this one which is now going to become a staple for my breakfast if you guys haven't subscribed make sure you do um let me put this part down all you need to do is click this red button down your screen thank you so much for supporting if you love this video please give it a thumbs up even though it wasn't exactly what i wanted 
I'm glad that it was a beautiful accident and this turned out to be delicious. So I can wait for all of you to give it a try at home. Mm. I'm sorry guys. It's like so good, especially this souffle attempt one because it's a lot softer. It does take a long time to make it possible and as you saw in the video, I had the best luck when I used the mold. Otherwise, I feel like I wouldn't have gotten what I got. But it's all about trying, making sure that you don't give up just because you didn't get this one right. It doesn't mean that you will never get it right. Because I know that if I keep trying, eventually I'll be able to make a souffle pancake that is completely vegan and free of all my allergens. Thank you guys for watching. I can't wait to see you next week with a new video. And if you're a little bored at home, make sure that you do whatever it is it that you were putting on hold because I know this time might not be the best to travel, to go out. Believe me, I am struggling yet. I have found time to do recipes and just to create things that I've been putting off my list and now I get the time to do it. So I hope you guys also do the same and I can't wait to see you next week with a brand new video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing down your screen. Don't forget to subscribe without I mean, don't forget to leave without subscribing and give it a thumbs up. Leave me any comments below and I will see you next week. Bye guys.